Hello, I'm Warren Brush, and I'm really grateful today to be able to join you for International Permaculture Day from Germany, where I'm out in a rural area teaching a permaculture design course with folks from all over Europe and uh, some from the United States. And I'm, I'm really happy to be here and that you're interested not only in permaculture, but a healthy and hopeful future, which I believe permaculture offers, offers the world. Um, I do what I do uh, in the permaculture movement for a lot of different reasons. Uh, one is that I believe that we are a, a living link between our ancestors and the future generations and that we have been living as a human species in a way that steals from our grandchildren to feed ourselves today for many, many millennia and that we are at a point now where we need to change that and we need to, we need to look at how to be regenerative species on the earth in the ways that we live. And I feel that permaculture offers the design science to help us get there. I also look at permaculture as a, a, a very rooted way to build community through not freedom, but mutual interdependence, where we're able to to use permaculture principles to actually design community re interactions that ultimately lead to not only peace, but also uh, in, into integral living on the landscape. And that to me is one of the, one of the blessings of permaculture. Um, I feel that having a, a system based on ethics and principles is something that has been missing, especially from Western society for so long. Um, I, I call it Western society because I, I really truly believe that we don't have a culture because the definition that I use for culture is that uh, um, it culture actually stems from a group of people who knows where all that sustains them comes from and they honor those things deeply. Um, and I, I really feel that we have an opportunity by using permaculture and indigenous understanding of the landscape to grow culture from place and uh, to grow it out of a root that's, that's um, where, where literally the landscapes in which we live speak culture through us. And I feel that that's an important aspect that is missing right now from, the Western, from Western society. And I often even refer to Western society as the Western syndrome that has caused so many of us to lose that root of indigenosity. Um, that that is something that is our birthright and also it's something that is needed for us to continue as a species so uh, I'm, I'm so grateful uh, we my my home land in, in California is a place called Quail Springs and it's the canyon where that's where my umbilical cord is actually at and it's a place where we're trying to grow community for a 200 year village that will be there in 200 years. Um, a lot of my elders have shared with me that it's, it takes 200 years to actually develop a uh, intact community and that that is something that, you know, in our generation we have to really look at and say, yeah, you know, we, we need to do some things where we grow uh, and plant trees that we may never sit under the shade of. And that's okay. That's, that's part of the joy of being a steward of the land is knowing that we're doing things for a time beyond our own. So I hope that um, the work that so many people are doing around the world using permaculture or whatever word they use where they're harmonizing human settlement patterns with, um, with nature. And you can call it anything you want, but permaculture has a very, uh, a very well delineated system of design that does that, that helps us step into that harmonic. And I'm really, really grateful to all of you out there who are working in your own backyards, working in your zone zero and your zone one to be able to develop a good life for yourself so that you can then affect other people by example and by being a demonstration of the things that you believe in. Um, I think, you know, Gandhi has always talked about, and a lot of people talk about him saying we must be the change that the, that the world needs, but I also feel that we need to um, be the, we not only be the change the world needs, but we also need to be the change that we need to see in the world. So, um, 
and actually I think I got that backwards, is he says we need to be the change that we, see in the, that we want to see in the world, but I feel we also need to be the change the world wants to see in us. It's not about us being at the center. It's about us being a beautiful part of an, a diverse ecology of beings in this world that steward its landscape and are working in their inherent gifts to feed the world in a positive way and not be live an extractive lifestyle, but actually to be in a lifestyle that is uh, giving and making an offering of your life and a beautiful life that, that allows the ecologies that sustain us to actually flourish and regenerate um, for a time beyond our own. And so with that, I'm, I'm really excited. And uh, my, my message for everyone in the permaculture movement, especially on this International Permaculture Day, is to really look at your own life and look at how you can do things authentically and integrally in a way that, that inspires the young people around you to want to do the same. Because I feel that that's where we're going to get the most mileage ecologically, is when we, when we can inspire young people to create uh, vocations that are actually um, ecologically viable, economically viable, and socially viable. And I also see when we do that, we inspire older people and people more ingrained in their patterns into ma a, a massive change that we need in the world right now. So please, um, start today. You know, uh, all the problems of the world can be solved in the garden, uh, according to Bill Mollison. And I believe that as well. And I've, I've seen it in action in countries uh, all over Africa and the Middle East. And, um, and hopefully, we'll start to see it in America, which is really somewhat cons I consider the belly of the beast. And a lot of change needs to have happened. So uh, my message today is one of hope and is one of inspiration. Um, I'm inspired by all of you and all the work you're doing around the world. So thank you very much. And uh, may not only there be one day of honoring permaculture, but that 365 days a year we'll be honoring permaculture um, from here on out. So thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you on the road and in your own gardens. Bye-bye now.